Hey, good morning, guys. Hey, it's uh, first thing in the morning, and I'm uh, kind of squinting. I'm looking right here at the sun, but I wanted to show you my 100-watt uh, little portable uh, solar setup that I have for grabbing these early morning moments where the sun's low, and you can still grab some of that solar power before it really hits all of the panels on your RV roof. Now this really works well also in the later part of the day where the sun is also low on the horizon and uh, you can just set this up and point it at the uh, wherever the sun is. Now this can also come in really handy in the uh, winter time, say if you're storing your RV and you need to keep a nice little charge on your batteries so they don't die and you don't fry them um, by overcharging them with something else. So I'm going to show you how to make one of these coming right up. What you're going to need is obviously a, uh, a solar panel, and I went with a 100 watt flexible solar panel. And the reason I went with a flexible solar panel is uh, because it's really easy to store in the RV when you're not using it. And I keep this right under the cushion on the top front of the RV, and you don't even know it's there. And you can also store it, you know, in a storage compartment or in the back of your closet or something like that. So it's really easy to to keep um, until you need to use it. I also picked up an inexpensive. Uh, ProStar 15 amp charge controller. Now this is a PWM charge controller that I got off of Amazon for less than $100 and I went with a 15 amp one because I can put a couple of panels on there and it'll support it just fine. Depending upon how far your battery bank is from the panel you're probably going to need to get some extension cables to go with the uh, with the panel and you know you can get some 10 foot extensions or you know six or whatever length you need it's good to have around so you can position the panel wherever you need it now to connect it what I did is I just got a I picked up an extra uh, solar extension cable and I cut it in half so then you have you know a positive and negative connector and then a bare wire on each end that you could uh, just make another connector or plug it plug that right in to your charge controller I had some extra um, some extra wiring sitting around from a trickle charger I had so I used some of that and created this connector um, that I can just uh, connect right to uh, the ProStar charge controller. Now I also had another uh, extra cable sitting around that had a um, some alligator clips on it for the battery connection and I used that also to connect directly to the uh, charge controller. Now on the charge controller I uh, made sure I set the setting to the type of battery to a uh, flooded battery so I made that sure that was set up properly and the nice thing about a decent charge controller like this is that it it charges the, you know, you know, the battery appropriately and it doesn't just put a really low trickle charge on the battery so it actually uses um, you know a decent charging algorithm to uh, support your battery and it doesn't overcharge and things like that Hooking everything up to the charge controller is pretty, pretty straightforward. You hook the uh, solar uh, positive and negative connections to the solar input of the charge controller. And going out to the battery, you just simply hook up the positive and negative connection going out to the battery to the right spot, screw it down, and uh, you're pretty much ready to go. You just have to set up the panel where you want it and uh, connect it to the battery and you are off and running and you just keep positioning the panel you know, so it's pointed directly at the sun to get that extra solar charge. So that's it. Uh, this is pretty easy to use. It's set up. I bring it out in the early morning and I bring it out later in the evening. Uh, you can also use it uh, to charge your car or anything uh, like that that has a flooded uh, uh, regular 12 volt battery. So it's 
pretty versatile, pretty handy. Now you might uh, be wondering why I didn't just hook up this, sex this panel to my existing solar array. And the reason is because that uh, the setup on my RV anyway, you know, it, everything's connected in series and uh, it's set up a certain way to go to that particular charge controller. So in order to set this up and use it, you know, wherever, I needed a separate charge controller connected to the battery so it's independent from the other uh, solar panels that I have that are putting out a lot more voltage than, than this 12 volt panel would. I've also uh, planned to build a little stand for it. Right now I have it sitting on this chair and that just works out fine for now. But uh, I was going to build a stand and I'll maybe make another video about that in the future. So take care guys and I'll see you in the next video.